is a comparison of two uh, uh, telescopes, schmidt cassegrain telescopes. Both of them are Mead. One of them is a Mead LX90 uh, ultra high contrast. I think this one is actually a yeah 2004 model. And this one is a 2012 model, uh, Mead LX90, ultra high contrast and advanced comma free. And both of them uh, are from the same company. Uh, this one is 2004 probably, this one is 2012. What's the difference between them is that I bought this from uh, a company called ENS Optical in Birmingham. Uh, I paid around 900, paid exactly 950 pounds for this. Uh, I paid it. They had to wait another one month for the person to contact me that they are going actually uh, to give it to me. Then when I went to collect it, because they told that if you collect it, uh, you will get 50 pounds. Uh, discount. I went there on the telephone everything I was accused that I'm lying I just want to come and see the thingy and just they couldn't believe pretending. I went there and I saw that there are two telescopes. One they told it's going to be Serbia and the telescope that was going to Serbia had a box and this one which was in this condition the wrapped uh, had a wrapping on the uh, lead cover as you can see it doesn't close properly was the one that I paid in cash instantly and I had to wait one month be accused that I'm a liar and uh, just just normal chat I never had any problem I never had any I just thought I want to come take it as they told that you come take 50 pound discount and I thought that that was a little bit cheeky because they actually hold my money for one month then I had to go and collect it again and just and anyway uh, it was not the best telescope the wrapping was wrong the, it had a the lead was wrong uh, I bought a lot of accessories from them but they didn't have even decency to give me a cap for the back which was which comes with this telescope so practically everything good went for the foreign customer of them and the British customer didn't get. This is the one I bought from eBay. I paid £950 for this one and I paid for this advanced comma free uh, 520 And this is, uh, yeah, six years, no, eight years more modern. And you can see the difference. First of all, no problem with the lead, fits completely. This one, the lead has a problem it cannot fix, it has a wrap, it never tights itself. Uh, anyway, both of them are telescope. Uh, if you ask me, if this one is a bit shorter than that one, slightly a few inches shorter. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what I noticed that this ENS optical well, I was wondering where they get all these telescopes. They have set second-hand telescopes everywhere, and they sell it. They have an eBay everywhere selling these things. I was wondering where they get it. And then gradually, after observing in the eBay with their, what they have on sale, uh, it dawned on me that actually they buy the items from the eBay themselves. So this telescope probably was bought from somebody in the eBay. As I bought this one for myself from eBay, and they just resell it in eBay. So this telescope, I have a LX200 mm, similar to this, heavier, much better. I bought it 250 pounds. So I could buy this probably around 400 pounds, 400, 500 pounds, when this was actually 520 pounds. And now I'm understanding that they buy the things from the eBay. You can see that whatever they have has already appeared if you follow the eBay 
for two three months you will see that the items that they buy from the ebay they appear there you see as for example i saw a dobsonian homemade dobsonian somebody was selling for a long time it was not sold then you had to reduce the price and somebody bought it and that somebody was ens optical and they have painted it or they make appear in the ebay that they have painted it or they have manipulated the image in the photoshop so the the it looks different color. The original color was brown. Now it is appearing gray. They're just selling it. So I was wondering why uh, I did like that. Because I didn't know about these things. I didn't know that. Uh, I was really new to these all of things. And now I know that you can buy actually on, you, on eBay from people, honest people like ourselves. Without actually having... It. And uh, they didn't have the proper cap. didn't have the box. I had to spend £100 almost for including delivery for a bag for this. The ba the box that I had actually went to Serbia. He sold it to them. And uh, it doesn't have this back, so I have to put something to close this. Uh, unlike this one, which I bought from a eBay customer, eBay seller, private. He gave me all the things coming with this. It has a comma free optics. If I have a video about this actually, you can see that when I was buying it, the guy actually was uh, using a dirty cloth. Dirty, uh, it was a cloth for cleaning the glasses, but it was dirty, I could see it, it was full of dust. And he was not blowing the dust or anything, he was just uh, rubbing it against it. And that's the reason you can see these markings there. Very unprofessional way. I was thinking by then that this guy is professional, he's a optical instrument maker and uh, optician. He's not, he's just buying from eBay and selling them. He probably was obsessed with the telescopes like me, buying, 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 and then they realized he can do business with this. But anyway, you can buy it from eBay. Look at the beautiful uh, coating on this. And the coating on this has been damaged completely. It doesn't have any coating at all, it seems, or very faint. And it's a, uh, I'll show you what is this. It has ultra high. Uh, uh, transmission coating or it has a label of it I don't know I don't trust anything anymore it has a label which says ultra high uh, transmission coating and funny enough on the rim of it it says ultra high contrast not ultra high transmission contrast or coating so anyway I don't know what to believe now and this is eight years newer 520 2004, eight years older than this one, 2004, and uh, 950, almost double the price, considering that I had to collect it and everything. So, my recommendation is that you buy from your own honest sellers in eBay, not from resellers. They're nothing more than what you are actually yourself. And this is one of the earliest of the Advanced Coma Free. I was looking at the videos where it's got a telescope in NIF, North East uh, American Festival, Astronomy Festival, something like this in America. Dennis Chico was talking with the meat guys, and this was before meat was sold to the Chinese. And the telescope that was Advanced Coma Free, that was introduced in that year, and uh, they had exactly the same uh, arrangement, no marking here. No marking on that side, just advanced common free. It was the earliest batch that was going to be sold to the customers. So you can trace it back practically. This can be the lot of things. This Los Mandis, it had three little Los Mandis, one here, also one here. It has a counterweight also and under it you can attach it. It had also a, another telescope, the Orion 8 AT millimeter guidescope it had here. It has this, of course, it has this finder. You can use that as a finder also. Uh, it came with a lot of accessories. The difference is that this one had this uh, uh, LNT level north uh, technique for finding the direction. It broke practically, it was very flimsy. And this one actually has that attached here again, another good point. And uh, I got everything for this, everything was original. As you can see, This is the way this one is. The lead, the lead even cannot be closed 
properly and this one everything perfect so a lesson here mechanically both telescopes look the same to me and then that here is a bit sharper here is not that sharp um, um, this one a little bit probably higher slightly the battery compartments are the same and the handles are the same everything is the same optics and electronics are different this is a advanced comma free there's a gps model it has a gps it's not level north it has a gps this one that one is attached with a wire it goes that way and it just makes it too awkward this one has a everything on it the gps version so earliest model of the advanced comma free the original one so everything was better probably in a way you can say and i got it for that good price and i got the lx 200 which is the daddy of all of this i'm such a heavy thing you can you know the optics is i believe is better than this that one 250 so really good good sale good uh, chances to buy something but we I forgot this one that I bought from the ear ANS optical. The hand control of it was faulty. Even when they were in the video I've made, you can see the hand control is not working. The guy says, oh, it's not working. Uh, maybe next time works as if magic. He believes in magic. Anyway, I had to write after three months, I think, communication. He finally sent me a replacement for that. All the faulty ones were practically. Yes, three months I paid, and uh, one month I didn't have the telescope. We were just using my money, around one thousand pound, nine hundred fifty pound, with the petrol and everything I've collected. Then after that, uh, yeah, three months I waited just to actually be able to use it with the thing, uh, with the hand control. Not good experience. And this one, advanced Como free GPS version. LX90 came with a audio star hand control. It talks number one. <laughs> Much better deal than that. Look at it. Look <laughs> at the rat. Look. <laughs> Look at it. Come on. And we want to go out of EU with this kind of businesses and trades and manufacturings I don't know really this is a customer service we get um, I was thinking a long time why this ENS optical uh, guy was telling me that you're lying when I actually I paid money and I just wanted to come and collect it as he told me that you can do it and I was thinking why he was worried why he was selling such a thing it's, it's just pointless I didn't understand even what it means and he says we have fraudulent people lying. My money was in the bank account. And one month passed. He was just every time saying, I'm in Spain, I'm, I'm away. And uh, now I realize that he may have some dealings with people. And he made a, a fraudulent treatment or something like that. Something went wrong and the customer service was so bad somebody complained to somewhere important. And he was aware of that, and he was worried that somebody may come after him. He want to see him in his place. That's the only reason I can think. Of. Otherwise, what's the point of it? I've paid the money. I just want my item, and my money was in his back and directly, direct debit. It went to his account, and I was wondering why nine hundred fifty pound went to his bank account, and yet he was moaning about these things, which I couldn't understand. I couldn't figure out what he's talking about. The money is in his hand. He, he has to deliver the I think by then he was just trying to uh, because I saw a lot of things he may I have a suspicion he may put parts take one part from something put it on another one just makes them you know something like that that's what I'm thinking uh, this the box that was for mine went actually for somebody else and the rubbish wrap wrapped lead came for me again None of this was mentioned when I was buying it from this uh, website. Ian Subtico. So it just all dodgy looked 
dodgy, not right to me. I wish I didn't buy it, but then my money was in his hands, so I couldn't really. Uh, it was new also to eBay, I didn't know that you can buy it actually in eBay. You just have to wait for the right item to arrive. Anyway, it was a compulsive buy. Right?